All right, you guys, this is the very first video with Grizz, the now monitor. Uh, I'm super excited because I've been wanting to start this channel for quite a bit because everybody's been asking me about, well, you should make a video about your now monitor, how calm it is. And I've been getting a lot of people just wanting videos, but I never actually started it. Um, today, I'm actually going to the reptile store and we're going to feed Grizz today. And I want to talk to you guys about uh, really how to tame them and pretty much actually how to house a knob monitor and Grizz. Very social. Say hi, Grizz. Say hi. Yeah, but it took me about two years to get them like this. And, uh,. Those who actually know now monitors, they are not friendly. And I get people all the time saying, uh, oh, they want a now monitor, but in reality, it's a whole lot of patience. So we are going to take them out today. Um, I did want to talk about more on my channel. It's gonna be a lot of Grizz. It's gonna be a main star. But if you see behind me, I have other reptiles. And I want to do guides on them and pretty much how to take care of them. Also, um, it's not just going to be about reptiles. It's going to be about, uh, you know, workout plans, diet plans. Um, pretty much this is my blog right here. So it's the first time me starting it. Um, and I'm super excited. So I'm going to set Grizz down for a minute. So what I use to take Grizz out is this. This is just normal like sandpaper. You could buy probably at Home Depot for like a few cents. Um, I try to trim his nails, but I know that this is more effective because it's very smooth and if somebody wants to hold them. I don't feel bad if they scratch them or anything. Um, also, this is a harness that I use um, it's a ferret harness actually, and it's been working. He is kind of growing out of it. Um, so I may have to move up a little bit in size. Um, I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna head out to the store. All right, you guys, we are back from the separatarium. Um, the guys there are actually really cool. I know the COVID around, uh, I was actually, I didn't want to take him out, but um, thankfully uh, got him to get a little social by taking him out. Um, and I always love doing that. Um, I do my best to, you know, take care of him, you know, get him social as much as possible. So when he gets really bigger, uh, I don't have to worry about like biting or anything like that. So. Um, it takes a lot of patience and work, um, and a lot of people there just want to hold them. But, uh, you know, with the COVID, we were doing our best keeping our six distance from everybody. So I did get a few um, doobie roaches, uh, one medium rat, um, and a few silkworms, and also some more rats. Uh, have, you know, ball python, leopard gecko, and bearded dragon, so... Gotta feed them as well. So Grizz is back in his cage. Let me show cage you. Over there. And I'm gonna feed him a little snack right now. Oh, that was actually pretty vicious. I did not think that he would do that, but a little snack. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I do have to say that was probably an exciting video, but at the same time, recording while having Grizz, it's pretty difficult. So I'm hoping to do more videos um, and just look out for them. All right.